Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, part two. I contacted my mentor, Roy Brewer, and he, he couldn't believe the F8 key wouldn't bring it back either. His suggestion, so then, then uh, also one of my viewers sent me a little video, <clears throat> and I can't really do it because I've already have objects up here, but we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Roy Brewer suggested, so right here is your menu bar, kind of grayed out. If you right click on it and customize, and go to uh, menu bar and reset to default. So try that first. That might override the F8 key. So customization, menu bar, reset to default and see what it does. Now, the viewer or subscriber <clears throat> brought this up and I, I guess I kind of, would have thought it worked. I never thought about adding a, an item to the menu bar. But if you remember from the other video, we uh, we found the object, and it's this one right here. And that's my shortcut key. If you will hold down the, I believe it's the control and the alt button, and put it like right there. I'm not going to do it because I don't need two of them. But I think that will add it to that. Well, there, it did it. So now I've got two objects. So now I need to get rid of that one somehow, but I'll figure that out later. So that does work. So if he's missing that object, we can do that right there. Now, how am I going to get rid of that is another question, but I'm not really worried about it. Um, well, let's just try the other way. Let's go... Uh, Let's uh, wait for my computer to quit thinking about what it's doing. So if you notice, there's two objects. There we go. and put it back. So maybe that's just a temporary fix. But then if you would save that as default, I'm pretty sure it would work. So try uh, resetting it to, you know, so go customization, menu bar, reset to default. You know, there's an add a new menu. You know, that's quite possibly we can do it. Um, and if you ever get messed up, uh, just turn your, your Corel, shut down your Corel and hold down the F8 key when you start it and it'll set everything back to factory default. Anyway, I seriously hope that helped that individual and thank you for watching.